you've probably already heard the headline that we see from NBC New York, Jeffrey Epstein confidant Ghislaine Maxwell arrested on sex abuse charges. <laughs> As soon as I saw this, I just, I had to tweet out, without even looking, I'm going to go ahead and assume that hashtag Ghislaine Maxwell didn't kill herself is already trending. Prosecutors allege Maxwell helped Epstein traffic and abuse underage girls. He died by suicide awaiting trial last year. Jeffrey Epstein, confidant is Ghislaine, and I, yeah, the pronunciation, I think the, 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 the proper French is Ghislaine. Uh, was arrested Thursday morning in New Hampshire. Maxwell will face charges that she conspired with the disgraced financier to sexually abuse underage girls. Epstein, a friend to presidents and captains of industry, died by suicide last August while awaiting trial on sex trafficking charges. Uh, yeah, right. And, you know, I loved when that happened because it was a moment of awakening for a lot of people they it's you know one of those things where you go uh, I, I think they went too far and it was a bit of a chink in the armor i even leading up to the coronavirus shutdown oh man i mentioned it again when we had all of the uh, you know doubt out there where people going yeah i don't believe like uh, th there was a significant portion of, of of america that said well this is coming from government we don't really believe this and uh, the backdrop to that is just everything leading up to that that has discredited government. And one of those is the death of Jeffrey Epstein, who died in custody in a, a jail cell in New York, at least we think, or I, I mean, <laughs> was so, so the official story goes, I should say. Uh, and, and there were, you know, so there, there are basically three competing theories on the Jeffrey Epstein death. One that the story is more or less true that, that, that he did kill himself. Uh, two, that he was killed in jail, right? And and this could have happened a number of ways. Uh, there's so much, like, and, and this seems, you, you, the, the, the official story seems really unbelievable when you look at the evidence for, you know, the, these, these other theories where you go, well, the surveillance tape magically disappeared from the jail when this was happening. The guards just happened to be, uh, uh, you know, not in the area when they were supposed to be. He had a, a broken bone in his, in his neck, you know, that would suggest he didn't actually hang, like, hang himself. Hanging yourself in a jail cell <clears throat> is actually relatively challenging. He was supposedly on suicide watch at the time. And so right away, hashtag Jeffrey Epstein didn't kill himself blew up. The third competing theory, though, is that he was snuck out of there. And, you know, I'm more inclined to believe that now than, than the, either of the other theories. Although, you know, just that he killed himself and the official story is correct. It's like, mm, no. And, you know, my favorite meme uh, from the time was, uh, it said, you know, asterisk, Epstein kills self, America. And, you know, it's colon. And then it's got this army of Alex Jones is like storming the camera. And you go, yeah. Yeah, everybody realized hmm, there's something really, really fishy about this. What leads me to think that the third possibility is most likely at this point is that there were a lot of people talking about a sort of dead man switch for Epstein. Now, remember, Epstein, uh, and they're saying his, his, uh, his estate is is, some, is worth something like five hundred million dollars, and now uh, some of his uh, victims can sue the estate. And he left, the, you know, the entire. He revised his will like two days before he was uh, before he died, and then uh, decided in that in revised will to leave all of his assets to his brother. You know, just fishy stuff here. But a guy who's worth five hundred million dollars and is connected the way that Jeffrey Epstein was is going to have some kind of dead man switch. Like when he dies, documents are going to be released. That didn't happen. So, if you think about who he is, was, um, and 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 what did he want? 
you know, whatever a man wants, his own private sex island. Although for him, it was also uh, pedophilia. <laughs> you know, that, mm, uh, yeah. Uh, so he could have that still. Right. You know, and, and, and it seems at the time I theorized that Jeffrey Epstein got retired. You know, he got too visible. He got too much. Uh, he got to be too much of a liability for his friends. And they said, you know what, dude, we, you know, we got to mm, we, we got to put a stop to this. And Trump wants to go, let's, I want to make it look like I'm doing something about this. So satisfy all the Q theories. Look at all the pedophiles being locked up. And of course, that's nonsense, because if that was true, if there was really a legitimate push within the Trump administration, oh, yeah, we're going to get all the pedophiles locked up. We're going to bust all the child sex trafficking rings. Then why did it take so long to bust Ghislaine Maxwell? So uh, she was arrested by the FBI in Bedford, New Hampshire, around 8.30 a.m. on charges she conspired with Epstein to sexually abuse minors and is expected to appear in federal court later today. The six-count indictment alleges she helped groom girls as young as 14 years old, going back as far as 1994. <clears throat> in some instances, Maxwell was present for and participated in the sexual abuse of minor victims, according to the indictment. She is the daughter of media baron Robert Maxwell. Ghislaine was a one-time girlfriend of Epstein and was at the high-flying investor's side for decades. But she was also alleged to have helped Epstein groom teen girls for sex with the rich and powerful. One of those teens, Virginia Roberts Giuffre, uh, Giuffre uh, leveled that charge against Maxwell in a 2015 defamation suit as have a number of other women since. Epstein, a registered sex offender who nonetheless kept company with presidents and captains of industry, was arrested last summer on new federal charges of exploiting dozens of underage girls in New York and Florida in the early 2000s. Now, remember, now, as, as a registered sex offender, it's because he was charged with this uh, years ago and did a significant time in a minimal security facility where he was allowed to leave for work during the day at different times. I mean, it was like, you know, a, a sort of barely jail, it, 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 whatever the, the sort of, it was a really weird circumstance. And right away you go, something's up with this. And then he was allowed out and allowed to go back to doing what he was doing. So he's definitely got dirt. I mean, that, this, this is the, the, the sort of obvious racket. You know, he's got the Lolita Express airplane where he's got his private jet and he flies people to his, his private island. Uh, there are a lot of people implicated in this. Of course, Prince Andrew seems to have avoided uh, escaping uh, accountability for his role in this, although that hasn't fully shaken out yet. We saw that Prince Andrew was... Uh, well, I, I forget what the exact term was, but sort of relieved of his royal duties, kicked out of the royal... That doesn't happen, you know. Mm, the queen would not have done that. I mean, having lost uh, Harry and Meghan already this year, like, she would not have done... And this was before this, but uh, before Harry and Meghan, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle uh, renouncing their, their royal duties. Uh, but Prince Andrew, you know, it's it's a major blow to the credibility of the royal family for the queen to say, yeah, you're out because of this Epstein pedophile thing. That to me is, that's the, that's the, there, there was a trial. The queen held a trial behind closed doors for Prince Andrew and decided that he was guilty. Or at least decided that, and not only that he was guilty, probably also decided that he couldn't hide his guilt. Because if he could have, he would have. And she probably would have let him, right? If, 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 if she knew that with confidence that he could really hide it, that there wasn't absolutely damning evidence. So Bill Richardson, Bill Clinton, a uh, number of other, I, I mean, Donald Trump, uh, people who have, you know, have been to events, who have, uh, you know, a lot, a lot of those have been to the island itself. Epstein's private sex island. 
Now, according to the story, he attempted suicide in custody in late July and then died after another suicide attempt in early August. Two of the guards tasked with monitoring Epstein now face federal charges for not properly supervising him before his death. That's going to be a really interesting story to follow to see how that falls out. You know, if the uh, if, if they have an open trial, if the guards are able to testify. I mean, I, it, there's so much at stake here among so many of the extremely rich and powerful uh, that they will kill people to protect this, uh, to protect their various rackets. One day before a suicide, a federal appeals court released the transcript of a 2016 deposition in which Epstein repeatedly refused to say whether Maxwell had procured young girls for him. Maxwell now faces multiple counts of perjury for allegedly lying in her own deposition about Epstein's sexual activities. She has stayed below the radar since his death. The speculation swirled about whether she could face repercussions for her friend's alleged abuses. As uh, Nebraska Senator Ben Sass said in a statement Thursday, Epstein got a crooked sweetheart deal years ago that protected his co-conspirators like Maxwell. Maxwell has been on the run for months because she too hoped to escape justice. We can't let that happen again. Her victims deserve their day in court. Now, this thing about being on the run, like, she let herself get arrested. She was in New Hampshire. Not a really easy place to hide. You know, and it wasn't like there was some crazy chase or anything. This has an air just of being all staged. Sass, who is a member of the Senate Judiciary Committee, has pushed aggressively for the Justice Department to investigate what was described as a sweetheart deal that gave Epstein and others immunity from federal charges in 2007. Then Miami U.S. Attorney uh, Alex Acosta was involved in negotiating that deal, and 12 years later, he resigned as Labor Secretary amid criticism of the arrangement. Why would he resign? Unless he did something wrong. Well, there must have been something very wrong about that deal. Wouldn't be surprised if he had some kind of dirt. Where Where is Alex Acosta today? Where are they now? Who knows? Obviously, what we learn from this story is that government doesn't really care about crack cracking down on pedophilia or sex trafficking. Maybe some people in government do. You know, there's some really do-gooder FBI agents out there. But if they did, if, if as a whole government cared about this, they would end the prohibition on prostitution. Now, remember, if you can't say frick, you can't say frick the government, as Lenny Bruce almost said. And since we're on YouTube, I can't say frick. But as George Carlin said about this, selling's legal, frickin's legal. Why isn't selling frickin' legal, right? It's a victimless crime. If it's voluntary, someone wants to exchange money for sexual services, there's nothing morally inherently wrong with that. Certainly not that would, you know, some people want to have different definitions of those words and say prostitution is wrong and bad, and that's fine. Given that even, you are not justified in violently interfering with that voluntary transaction. And the making of it illegal, the fact that most of society goes along with, oh yes, prostitution should be illegal, which is to say government should use violence to stop prostitution, which is to say to drive it underground which is to say to create a black market for it, which then creates the space for child sex trafficking. You look in the United States, where is the child sex trafficking happening? It's on the, the edge of the general black market for prostitution. You go where prostitution is legal in the, in the limited areas, uh, like where, where the Bunny Ranch is in, in Nevada, you know, you don't have these problems because it's in the open, it's accountable to the public. To, to, to scrutiny, and so you don't have the child sex trafficking that we have in the rest of the country. And it's teenagers, underage girls being pimped out of hotels, motels, and, and you know, just John's going along with it because they're all afraid to report it, right? If you're a John and, and you didn't think that you were getting a, a, a minor and you show up to a hotel room and you go, hey, how old are you? Well, if she goes, well, I'm, I'm 17 or she says, I'm 18, you go, yeah, right. Well, you can leave, and but you can't report it. Oh, yeah, I was soliciting prostitution. 
and I uncovered child sex trafficking. No, you can't do that. But then you go to the bigger levels and you go, well, gee, Jeffrey Epstein, he's Lane Maxwell. Why is this arrest happening now instead of, I, I mean, I, I should have been years and years and years ago, right? It should have been should have been back when Epstein first faced charges from this. And, and, and as, as Sass said, the sweetheart deal that forced Alex Acosta to resign, I mean, years later, what, what was it, 20, 2007? 12 years later, Alex Acosta resigns. Why is that? Because government is a way to protect people from accountability for crimes. If you're a murderous a-hole, you just want to beat people up because you were picked on in school and you want to get revenge against the bullies, well, you can become a cop and then you can kill people with immunity. All you have to do is file false reports. Oh, I felt threatened. I feared for my life. He had a gun. You can plant weapons on suspects. I mean, not so much with body cameras, but still, look at what cops get away with. If you want to be a thief, if you want to be a drug runner, if you want to be a, if you want to be a drug kingpin, maybe not a kingpin, but like a you know mid-level drug boss, how many of those are operating from within police departments, sheriff's department? We've seen this. We've seen even now recently charges against law enforcement in the United States for pedophilia. So no, government will never be the answer to this problem of, of, of this particular evil of, of child sex trafficking. And I'm, I, I'm hopeful that stories like this expose the ridiculousness of the greatest protective force for pedophiles saying, yeah, we're going to take care of them pedophiles. Speaking of which, we have some Jeffrey Epstein news related to Donald Trump from Indy100.com, the independent. Protesters call out Trump by erecting statue of Jeffrey Epstein so we can really remember history. And this is awesome. So a lot of the report, I, someone sent me this in the Producers Club Telegram chat yesterday. And I was like, ah, my, my former home state of New Mexico. And it was like, we don't know anything about this. What's, you know, what's going on? Uh, you know, and, and, and the statue had disappeared. It turned out it wasn't actually a bronze statue. Obviously for the prank, they didn't make a real bronze statue or they took a mannequin, dressed it up and painted it. And people started sending in pictures. This is just brilliant trolling uh, kind of performance, or uh, not really performance, but install, you know, guerrilla installation art. So the bronze statue was left outside Albuquerque City Hall on Wednesday morning by a group who identified itself only as the Ant Leon or Ant Lion Art Collective. A plaque on the front written on uh, in the font Comic Sans proclaimed that the statue was generously provided to Bernalillo County by the Ant Leon Entertainment Art Collective. It continued Jeffrey Epstein January 2019-53 to August 10, 2019, was an American financier who started as a teacher and worked his way up from a low-level assistant to being one of the top financial advisors in the USA. He had a home in New Mexico, Zorro Ranch. He was also a rapist who died in prison. Now, it's it's funny they put it that way, uh, sort of endorsing the, the official story, but you don't even have to challenge the official story to use this to to troll the government, to troll Trump. And one of the uh, members anonymously said to uh, KRQE, local uh, TV, in a clearly sarcastic comment, quote, you know, so many statues are being taken down, but, you know, people are saying that they're bad people. So, you know, maybe we just need more statues of people like Epstein because that's historical too. So maybe we need statues of people like Epstein. Maybe schools can even have statue parks with people like Hitler and Mao and Lenin, just so that we can really remember history. It's thought the choice of Epstein, a former friend of the, of the president until they fell out over real estate, was to make a point to Trump directly. Uh, the statue has since been removed by Albuquerque authorities. You, would th you know, I, I'm disappointed. I'm not surprised. But I would have hoped that the leadership of the Duke City would have at least had enough of a sense of humor to just sort of let it sit there until uh, someone 
angrily took it down and they could get video of that. Uh, that would have been fun. But no, of course, yeah, it's on City Hall property. We have to take this down. I hope they saved it. I, I hope they don't just like throw it out because this in and of itself is already a great historical artifact that needs to be preserved for history so that America never forgets the story of Jeffrey Epstein, the evil of pedophilia and everything that government has done to protect pedophiles.